What ancient math trick kept entire cities hydrated for centuries? Imagine building a water system that must travel miles without pumps, using only gravity and stone. That's exactly what ancient engineers achieved when designing their legendary aqueducts. The secret? Meticulous calculations of gradient and flow. To ensure water moved smoothly but didn't overflow, they calculated slopes as gentle as 14800, meaning for every 4800 units forward, the channel dropped just one unit. Too steep, and the water would erode the stone, too flat, and it would stagnate. Using principles from geometry and early hydraulics, they mapped the land's contours, then applied mathematical formulas to predict water flow rates, factoring in channel width, depth, and velocity. This precision let them deliver millions of gallons daily, fueling public baths, fountains, and private homes alike. These calculations were so advanced that they laid the groundwork for modern hydraulic engineering. Today, the same mathematical principles guide water infrastructure worldwide. If you had to design a gravity-powered water system for your city, what challenges would you face, and how would you solve them?